In this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the before and after wipe effect, and it's really easy. My name is Vegard, I do a lot of video editing and filmmaking tutorials, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. On the timeline right here, I have a clip that I color corrected, and I really want to showcase how it looks before and how it looks after. So to make this effect, I'm just going to duplicate this video clip and I'm going to make it on top of the first clip. The second thing I want to do is to go to the effect controls panel and I'm going to uh, get rid of the Lumetri color effect. So now the footage looks like just before I color corrected the footage. But underneath this layer we also see the finished result. So to showcase how this looks before and after and create the linear vibe effect, we need to go to the effects panel and I'm just going to search for wipe. Under the transition folder, we'll find uh, a couple of different variants. You can do a gradient wipe, a linear wipe or a radial wipe. So I'm going to show you how to use the linear wipe and we're just going to drag this on top of our top clip in the timeline. Inside of the effects controls panel, we will get the linear wipe option and we got some controls that we can work with here. Now I'm going to start at the beginning and we are going to do some keyframing. So we got the option for transition completion and currently it is at zero. So I'm going to toggle a animation on that one. And we can also work with wipe angle or the feathering. So I'm going to move a little bit into the clip. And I'm going to make a new keyframe on each parameter right here. And then I'm going to go even further in the clip. And right around here, I want the transition to end. So we need to drag this up from zero until 100%. And if we play this back right now, you will see that we have a simple wipe effect that is gradually going through the footage. You can drag this keyframe to make this go slower. So we can drag this forward in time and it will go slower. Or we can drag this the other way to make this transition effect go really slow, fast I mean. We can also work with the wipe angle. So currently it is 90 degrees, but we can change it to however we want. So let's say I want to wipe at a 180 degrees angle. I can just type that in and you will see that we are now making the transition from the top to the bottom. You can also work with other things like the feathering. So currently it's just a harsh line right now. But if we feather this, you will see that we have a more. So if you see right here, we got rid of the edges right here. So it's it's more like a gradual transition right there. On the screen right now, I got another video that you can watch next. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Create and inspire and I will see you in the next video.